Hey guys, Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Tammy and I decided we wanted to visit the Telfair Academy Museum in downtown Savannah, and it was a great trip. We previously had gone to the Jepson Center, and this is very close to the same area. It's in Telfair Square. And my advice to you, if you're going to go to downtown Savannah and you're going to visit one of these sites, is to make sure that you figure out which parking deck you're going to park in and get the directions to that deck instead of riding around trying to find it. I've, I've gone downtown several times and the best course of action is to get the directions to the deck and then walk to your site. Uh, this museum was built, I believe, in 1819. Uh, it was built on the site where the royal governor's uh, house used to be for the state of Georgia and it was owned of course by the Telfair family they had a plantation here and then this was made into uh, the house was made into a museum uh, and given to the Georgia Historical Society Society I believe in 1875 so it is still in great shape has been maintained very well and um, you get to go in and see what these mansions were like back in the 18 hundreds and uh, these people were lovers of art already so they had a collection of art in there you know from the beginning and then of course the curators and the people that uh, worked for the Georgia Historical Society added all these other pieces of art but you can see all the all the reliefs on the wall and all the things uh, the marble steps um, anytime you go in one of these places just to see the architecture and see the workmanship that has been that has been put in to these facilities is just fantastic uh, there was a tour guide that worked there that took us through so we actually did a little tour with this one I don't always do that but she did a great job and they took us into the section where a lot of the art uh, was on display here this section was added on later on i don't think this was part of the original uh, the original mansion uh, but this is a huge area it's, it's as big or bigger than the uh, the original house and um, you know what's really good about this is you can get up close you can really see these works of art and uh, get a feel for um, you know the quality and things like that now, the lady that did the tour did a really good job of showing us, um, you know, kind of taking us historically through the house. That's Mary Telfair. She was the one that, whose idea it was to give this house uh, over as a museum and an academy for arts and sciences. Um, now, of course, today it's, it's pretty much just a museum. I don't think it's any teaching or anything, obviously, doesn't go on there. Um, the, um, the paintings that are on display, it's hard to get an understanding of what they really look like on video. Like I can go through and I can video these, you know, time and time again, and I can get up close to it and all that kind of thing. And But you really, unless you are there in person looking, uh, you just cannot really, you know, get a good understanding of what these look like and a feel for, you know, what what they are about um, it's just hard to explain but you have to be there in person to, to see it it's just not it is just not a uh, it's not comparable to, to look at it on video so I highly suggest if you have an opportunity to go there or any museum uh, that holds art that's not like uh, you know that's not like something that's replicated but that is original works of art uh, we got to go in and, and look at everything here um, the style of, of art um, went from everything uh, impressionism was included American impressionist um, that had gone over to Europe and studied art uh, that's one of the impressionist pieces and what was really cool is you could see the difference um, in the different styles as, as you saw the different years when the, when the art was made these were some of my favorites um, over here there's Tammy she is we were going we, this is the downstairs part that we went down to and uh, 
of course it's the same size room this one had a lot of it did have replicas it had replicas of a lot of uh, statues classical statues now what's so crazy is the lady told us that there had been many many more of these statues but a lot of them had been disposed of or taken to different places or whatever and the people thought they weren't really worth all that much because they were replicas but to be able to stand there and, and you know see it up close uh, it's a shame that a lot of those were lost and um, a lot of the paintings that uh, you know that, that have been purchased and put here um, were by a, a, an American style of impressionism I think they called it ash can painting um, but the people that run the museum, of course, have been all you know, have gone all over Europe, all over the place, to purchase these pieces. That one is of the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, another one of New York, looking across at the New Jersey Palisades. And uh, again, you know, I can get up as close as I can and, and try to show you guys what this really looks like. But it just doesn't compare to being there in person. Uh, Savannah scenes. This was a section that sh that was all uh, paintings and art from the Savannah area by Savannah artists. Uh, there's one of a market that was replicated down on the uh, riverfront. Um, this room was dedicated to the Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil book, um, and you'll see in a minute. This is where the Bird Girl, which was on the um, on the cover of that book. And uh, this is where it's housed because the family that, that, that this statue belonged to in Bonaventure Cemetery was afraid it was going to get, you know, messed up or destroyed or somebody was going to steal it or something. So they gave it to the Historical Society and now it sits in this museum. So if you want to see it up close and personal, uh, you can come in and uh, see that. So there were, of course, a lot of things that, that tied in with Bonaventure Cemetery. Um, the um, the section again was purely uh, dedicated to art in Savannah and the people in Savannah that had promoted the arts and that had um, you know made sure that these things were preserved you know to, to the best extent that they they could um, and of course every painting has a description who made it what the style is when it was when it was painted that kind of thing and I really enjoyed this section since it was you know purely about Savannah there's some of the uh, iron works that came from the Bonaventure Cemetery um, garden tiles showing that from the Victorian era and um, there's a bust and some other paintings there that were from Bonaventure. And then I think I get, yeah, here's a up close of the bird girl. Not not Tammy, but the bird girl. A lot of people want to see that when they come to Savannah. That's one of the number one tourist attractions, I guess because of that book. It was just, just struck people as something they wanted to see. Uh, this section was from American painters that had gone over uh, to Europe and painted in Europe uh, or studied in Europe and that kind of thing. And there were some really, really pretty works in this room. I really enjoyed it. I believe this one also was in um, the Jepson Center when we were over there. Just a, just beautiful paintings here in this section this was uh, Tammy's favorite section as well and having the guide was really nice because she could give us a little bit of historical context behind the paintings as we walked along and she was a volunteer she didn't she doesn't get paid by the museum. She just goes goes to different ones and they give tours to promote art. 
the artist that painted these particular paintings is in this painting and we kind of joked it was a painting of a painter painting a painting <laughs> we just kind of thought that was funny Tammy liked this one because she said the girl on the left looked like she was really into it. She said she looked like a teenager, like she didn't want to be there. I got some more scenes of the uh, the workmanship and the stair rails. Um, I went out to, this is where you come into the building so you guys could see the way that all this was displayed. And the rooms where the art was upstairs were, were originally bedrooms. So you can see how big they are. Here's Tammy pretending like she owns this house. <laughs> this was the, there was one room where they set up like it may have been in the 1800s. Um, this, this is the dining room that they set up. And uh, so you can see the size of the room. You can see some of the, you know, the popular decor during that period of time, the furniture, what it would have looked like, tableware, all of that. Of course, this wouldn't have been in just any house. These, these people were very wealthy, very wealthy. Um, and of course, a lot of that was from the plantation. They had a... Uh, they had a little shop, and they had lots of little neat little gifts. Uh, if you want to buy gifts, Savannah's the place to come. They have tons of tourist shops and things like that. You can get everything you could think of in these sections. And Tammy usually thinks of one or two things that she's interested in buying when she's here. Uh, we took some snapshots. I thought I'd throw some of those on at the end. We really enjoyed this. Uh, it's part of the package. If you get a $25 ticket, you can go to the Telfair Museum, the Jepson Center, and then they have a historical replica of the state of the slave quarters that were part of the plantation. And uh, I plan on going to that in the future as well. Thank you guys for watching Nichols Retirement Empire. Uh, again, this was something if, you, if it's a rainy day, if it's a really, really hot day, this is a great place to go and spend some quality time enjoying yourself in Savannah, Georgia. Thanks for watching, guys.